The QR section of the UCAT can be quite challenging for many people. Even if you're you know, very comfortable with maths and you take A-level maths, it can still be quite a tricky section due to the you know, intense time pressure. The QR section of the UCAT is comprised of 36 questions in 25 minutes, which means you have approximately 41 seconds per question. Hence, you know, the intense time pressure. The level of difficulty of the maths behind each question is relatively simple at GCSE level. However, it's kind of the problem solving aspect and the time pressure, of course, that makes it such a tricky section. So my general tips, first of all, when preparing and approaching questions in the QR section of the UCA are as follows. First of all, understand the different question types that can come up. Now, this is really important right at the start of your preparation to kind of know what to expect in the QR section. MedEntry, Medify and any other UCAT question bank that you may use will have you know thousands of questions of every different style that could come up in, in every section of the UCAT, even you know quantitative reasoning. So it's important for you to be familiar with every different question type that could come up so you can kind of develop strategies to tackle each type of question. The next thing is, not all questions are the same. Now, every question is worth one mark, but the difficulty is not the same. Some are harder, some are easier. Some questions you can answer in a one-step calculation, and others require problem solving and multiple steps of different calculations. Now, I'll go into more detail later on of what to do about this. Now the next thing is to practice your mental maths and your estimation. Being able to do simple calculations in your head is incredibly useful in saving time so you don't you know have to use a calculator or write anything down to do your working out for a question. Rounding and estimating will make tricky calculations a lot easier and save you so much time. Another way to save time is by effectively using keyboard shortcuts to use your calculator. Now, no matter how good your mental maths is, it's inevitable that you're going to be using your calculator during the exam. Now, you can't have a physical calculator with you, but it's a calculator on the exam program itself. It's not the fastest calculator. It doesn't have many functions on it, but of course you have to make do with it given the situation. So one keyboard shortcut is holding Alt and pressing C. Now this will open up your calculator and it's much quicker than you know dragging your mouse to click on the calculator. And you know, small things like this do really do save time. Now your keyboard in your UCAT test center will have a number pad. Now using that number pad to type in the numbers for the calculator, as well as to type in the plus, minus, divide and multiply sign, will save you a lot of time rather than having to kind of drag your mouse and click. Now, of course, ideally only use your calculator when you really need to, otherwise try and stick to, you know, mental maths because of course it's much, much quicker. But when you do use your calculator, using the keyboard to make operating the calculator even faster will save you tons of time. Now, after practicing many, many questions, you'll kind of get the hang of knowing when to use the UCAT calculator and when to use mental maths and you'll become a lot more efficient with your working out. So how would you approach questions on the QR section of the UCAT? Now, first of all, of course, read the question and any information given and understand what is being asked. Then, of course, you need to deduce what you need to do, whether it's, you know, a one-step calculation or it requires multiple different steps. If you're able to calculate the answer quickly, then by all means, go for it. Now, if you feel it's quite a long, complex, multi-step calculation, my advice would to be to put a guess, flag it and move on. Because as I mentioned earlier, all the questions are worth the same number of marks, yet some are a lot more challenging than others. And there'll be some that, you know, take many minutes, several minutes, where in that time you could have answered three or four different questions. So in terms of preparing for the QR section of the UCAT, here's what I would recommend. As I mentioned in my general UCAT preparation video, I would suggest starting by attempting questions not under time pressure to kind of familiarize yourself with the different types of questions that could come up and help yourself develop strategies in, in attempting these questions. But then of course, quickly moving on to questions under time to pressure. Now the key to UCAT preparation, especially quantitative reasoning, is practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the quicker you'll get 
and the more accurate your answers will be too. I would definitely also suggest to practice your mental math skills, perhaps doing some mental math puzzles in your free time may perhaps refine your mental math skills to help make you quicker when doing calculations in QR of your UK exam. Overall, the QR section can be quite tricky, but it's perhaps the easiest section to improve on and you'll see your scores definitely improving between you starting your practice and your actual exam. The most important thing is to just practice consistently and you will see the improvement will come with time. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below or contact me using my details in the description below. Look out for future videos in this UCAT series and for other videos to help with your medicine application.